the greatest leader in the world, maybe, maybe the greatest leader that ever lived. He took a country that was annexed by the Japanese. He took a country that was in dire straits and made it into the best country in the world. No guns, no graffiti, no rapes, no drugs. He created a country that God wants us to live like. God wants us to live by his laws and his laws are not killing whoever your God may be. And there's only one God. We've all got different titles for him. And whatever your God may be, there's only one God and that God has got his laws. No killing. Loving. Love is the most important world, word in the world. How, what sort of future are we having for the young people of the world with all this killing and terrorism that's going on? So, Lee Kuan Yew, what he does is remarkable. Yes, it's a, a smallish country, easier to do, but with great leadership that can be achieved throughout the world. Talking of, talking of leadership, we've got a new leader and you're quite um, impressed by Narendra Modi yourself. Uh, what do you think of the way he rose and more importantly now he's sort of, you know, had an absolute majority uh, um, as he won the election? He's a very charismatic man. He is uh, communicating with the rest of the world and communication is terribly important. One of the most imp Why do we have wars? Because people don't communicate. He's doing that and... Uh, you know, I just hope that India will have more young people come into Parliament, more women, because as I said, the youth, they are the champions of the future, and it's looking very encouraging for me. I, I read uh, Lee Kuan Yew's latest book, and his criticism, and, I, and I, he's very valid and very wise, he said uh, the bureaucracy of India was holding it back, and they had to change and, and open up a bit, and the potential of India, he said, is unbelievable, which it is. And so, looks like uh, Prime Minister Modi has this attitude, and all I can say is that um, I pray for India, that he does turn out to be a marvelous leader. One of my five great heroes was Mahatma Gandhi. When you think what this man did, what a Mandela did, what a Mother Teresa did, what a Lee Kuan Yew did, you know, leadership, and the world is lacking in leadership to a great extent now. If ever the world needed great leaders, it's right now. Right now. right now. We've got, you've got people talking about, I mean, I, I read about Iran blowing Israel off the face of the earth. Three times that's being said. I don't care what your opinions are and what your differences are. You don't talk about blowing somebody off the face of the earth. You rather talk about, let's find a plan somehow where we can all get together and work for the benefit of mankind.